Hi, and welcome back to another episode on how to hack. So today we're discussing about the use of Android management system so that you can access any of your Android devices from any parts of the world. So what happened is that you could be having an Android tablet, Android mobile devices, Android operating system, and so on, and we'll be able to manage them remotely. They can help us manage hundreds of devices, looking into the content of the device, and very quickly you can actually manage all these devices on a scalable approach. So without further ado, let us get started on today's tutorial. Hi, so over here we have github.com and we are in L3MON. So of course, as you scroll down, you can see the key features and understand that this is a Android management suite powered by Node.js. So you can install it on any Windows system or Color Linux as well. And of course, as you scroll down, you can see the key features like GPS, view contacts, and so on. A lot of very powerful commands that you can use alongside with it. And some of the prerequisites are Java Runtime 8, Node.js, and a server. So again, like I mentioned earlier, a server could be a Windows server, could be a Linux server. And here you have the installation instruction. So I have already went ahead and completed the installation. So of course, once we go back into Call Linux, I can open up Terminal here. And I've actually installed it directly into the TAM folder, TMP. So we can CD into TMP. So once we have CD into TMP, we can enter LS, and of course we can go directly into Lemon, CDL3. So once we're in, we can enter LS again, and we can see some of the key information here. And of course we see that we have index.js, we get package.json, and assets, and so on, many other key capabilities. So going back into the Lemon, all we got to do is actually enter the HTTP of the server IP followed by the port of 22533. So this is the key information we'll be using to access directly into the server once you have started the service. So we can go ahead and enter the IP address of Call Linux. So of course, in this case, we got going back to terminal, we can enter IP ADDR and we can see that the IP address is 192.168.1.18. So we can go ahead and enter 192.168.1.18 followed by port 22533. Hit enter on that and you'll be brought into the admin page and of course the admin username and password is defined in the configuration file. Log in directly and of course we can see the devices page and previously we have offline of the particular Samsung that I have installed earlier. And what's really important is about the APK builder. So what we're going to do is enter 192.168.1.18. So this is the server that will be hosting the file of L3 Lemon Manager and from here we'll be able to manage the Android device. So go ahead and click build and it will take some time for the build to complete and it's decompiling, patching server information, compiling APK, signing off the APK, verifying the build and finalizing now. So once the build or the APK has been finalized, you can go directly into terminal and once we're in terminal, we can enter LS and we can go into CD assets, enter LS again and we can CD into web public. And once you're in web public, enter ls, and we can see that we have two APK files. So the most important one is actually the build.s.apk. So if I enter ls-l, we can see the file size as well as the key information regarding the APK file. So what we'll do is we'll do a sudo copy build.s.apk followed by var www.html. And once we have done that, we can enter the password for the current user account, hit enter on that, and then we can go into cd var www.html. And once we're in, we can enter ls-l. So we're serving the file for the user to download or any of your Android device that you are going to manage. So if you're managing tablets, Android tablets or Android mobile devices, you can actually serve it through a web application server. So going back into the Android device on the right side, we can actually open up, say, Firefox. So going to the right side, we can go into the Android device and we can go into Firefox or any of your favorite browser, open it up. And all we got to do is enter the IP address of the web server, 192.168.1. Of course, we can see the IP address directly from here, which is .18, followed by slash build.s.apk. And once you do that, it will download a file and we can click on download to download a file immediately. And once it has been downloaded, we can open it up. And once we click open on it, we will be able to run the commands and to manage the device directly from here. So we click on downloads, we click on build.s.2.apk. Do you want to install this application? Click install. And once you're done completing the installation of the application, you can click open. 
And of course, we can click on all permissions. So here we can click on no permissions and we can allow all the permissions directly into the Android device. So again, this could be because you need to manage thousands or hundreds of Android devices, whether they're tablets, whether you're bringing your own device and so on, and you want to be able to manage them and you want to enable the permission so that you have constant access directly into the system. Going back into Color Linux, we can click under devices. And in devices, we can see what is the device that is being managed and we can click manage on it. So on the left side, we can see key information like the first scene as well as the last scene. And we can click on GPS, contacts, call log, clip part log, notification log, SMS manager. So for example, if I click on Wi-Fi manager and I click update, so we can get more information regarding the Wi-Fi that is connected into the system as well as the current Wi-Fi that is available within the vicinity. So over here, we can see a lot of other key information. We can also click on File Explorer to find out more information regarding all the directories within the Android device. So here we can see all the other information and we can open it up and we can see some of the key sensitive data as well and we can manage all directly from here. So there you see it, how quickly we could actually manage an Android device by installing the APK file and then allowing the permission into the Android device. And directly from there, you'll be able to do a lot more key capabilities and features to manage the Android device. So let us know what are some of the key capabilities you have used from Lemon and let us know what are the features that you're looking at and how you're using it to manage your Android devices. And I'll try my best to answer any of your queries on the below comment section. So remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.